This next segment is from a special reading that Densho hosted earlier this year. Tracy Kato Kiriyama is an incredible writer, performer, and community organizer, and they wrote this poem about their grandfather's resistance to World War II incarceration. <clears throat> the poem is inspired by a photo of Tracy's grandfather taken at Manzanar, and they actually had to improvise a reenactment of that photo on the fly when it turned out to be missing from the event slide deck. We'll let Tracy take it from here, but just know that you're about to witness their performance chops on full display. Oh, I have a slide. <laughs> oh, wait, do I not? Oh, sorry. oh, it's okay. It's okay. No worries. Imagine this. Okay. okay. A black and white photo. Kato family in Manzanar, an American concentration camp during World War II. Uncle Roy, little Uncle Roy on the right hand side, holding a rifle, wearing some military costume, bizarre. Auntie Aiko, born in camp, little chibi, uh, sort of in front of my grandpa Kato, long black beard. Grandma Shizuko in the back, dead center in the front, my mom. Little three-year-old, I think, at the time. Thick glasses. <laughs> holding a white baby doll. Blonde hair. And she looks so pissed. <laughs> like it's the most mad, mean face you could ever imagine on a child or a person, period. It's the best photo of her ever. <laughs> OK? Is, this good? Is, it better? Is it better than that? OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a wild photo. I'll share it with you somehow someday. Um, so that leads me to, to, to what probably I can do two poems. Um, you know, I, I realize there's so much about uh, my grandfather that motivates who I am as a person and an organizer and an artist. And so um, this one is called No Redress. It is dedicated to all ancestors who died before knowing that redress and reparations would be a thing to come or to be fought in for the future we call now. No museum, no monument, no poem, no song can house the spirit of a past soul like that of my grandfather who died before justice could meet the old man at his mailbox. Grandpa never got to stand in line at the bank three inches taller, with redress check in hand, one foot in front of the other, feeling grounded again. Never got to deposit an apology in his savings account. Never got to wonder of how he might spend this money, on new equipment for the nursery, or a truck for himself, or college money for his grandchildren, or for once take the most Takai cuts from the fish truck man. Most years in April, I attend pilgrimage. I say, hello, Manzanar. I bow at the graves. I speak to the wind of my hopes for afterlife to be a real thing. Not so I can see grandpa again, but for him to look around today, jump into the circle, dance the tankobushi and watch me get it right, and see our friends all our relations, learn what we mean by chosen family. We are here, not only to remember, but to remind the local docents this place will never be a museum. This body will never forget. And we leave pilgrimage with pledges as concrete as the monument. We sing songs to keep each other awake on the long ride home. We lose sight quickly, rearview mirrors, a pitch black sky, where they close the gate at the hour they have had enough of us, where we, where we leave behind parts of our best poetry, where I hope not, but think grandpa sits still waiting. <laughs> 